He sees it, he sees it, he's going for it. That was bigger than it looked. Just drop it, pick it. Drop it, pick it. All right, so my buddy's gonna go ahead and get the outboard running for me. But he told me he doesn't have a stand, so I need to somehow build a stand very quickly in order to drop it off at his house so he could work on it. I'm gonna try to use the scrap pieces from the collapsed John boat stand. If I can make something tall enough to hold the outboard. So my measurements told me I needed to be at least 26 inches tall minimum for it to be able to hang and suspend in the air and not touch the ground. So let's see if this wood happens to be long enough. Might be too short. As you can see, I got the boat back on the trailer just for now. Meanwhile, I got tired of licking it on the ground, so put it on the trailer. They're 22 inches tall, so they're not tall enough, but I'm thinking I could probably still build the frame with this and then just add four little feet. One on each corner to just raise it up about another six inches or so. Don't know how sturdy it's gonna be, but I just need it to hold for two, three days max. And then once I get it here, I could put it back on the boat and be done. I'm gonna find out if I even have enough juice in my drills. I believe all of my drills are drained out right now because I cannot find my charger. So I gotta see if I have any of my assorted drills, if any of them have any power to go ahead and build this. I'm not sure that's gonna work. I don't have enough juice on my drill and the wood's kind of rotting. So maybe I gotta think of something else. What other options do I got? Let the hunt begin. Don't mind the uh, crappy measuring tape my very expensive dewatt one rusted out because i left it on the boat make sure you wear safety goggles got my bajillos on I went ahead and I got the engine stand built for the outboard. I drove it down to Boca where my buddy Jose Sanchez lives. We thought it was gonna be a quick, simple carburetor tune-up job, but it ended up being far worse than that. He had to change the CDI, the pulser, and a few other things. Thankfully, he was able to get the parts in pretty quickly. Got it running. It is running like a champ now. All right, cold start. Let's see it start. Boom, boom. First pool. He decided to bring the outboard to me instead of me having to go pick it up. Came up with his son to go fishing, so we jumped in his truck. I brought Caleb with me, and we hit the town looking for some tarpon, some snook, and whatever else wanted to bite. <laughs> Did you bring it for free entertainment? <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid to go. All right, Jose, come this way. Do with my kids when they get like this? So you want to play a fight game? There's... Oh, yeah, there should be tarpon. I normally catch multiple tarpon here every time. Oh, hell no. Okay, I'm scared. What is that? Fast? Might be. Okay, come up here. thought it was a snook when it hit. Oh, it is a snook. There we go for your first look out here. Something, oh, way inland? Yeah, it's my first look I catch way up in here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, go back. I'm like, I thought it was a snook when it hit. It is. You guys need to calm down. You're gonna be itchy and miserable. A little bit of snook action. 
This is always the hard part. Like, how do I release a fish in here? Throw him. There you go. Fuck, bro. No, I threw it back in already. He jumped off the hook. Yeah, he jumped off the hook and landed on my feet and made his way into the water. Caleb, don't come down here. Stay up there, bro. We're going to leave right now to another spot that's going to be safer and easier. Okay. Help me see the, the black. Yeah, yeah. No, the breadfish love pink. Some freaking things don't care. They eat anything. Anything that moves. There's significantly larger ones than that here. Than that. Yeah, he's going to catch them right now. He sees it. He sees it. He's going for it. Oh. That was bigger than it looked. My trout's set. Dude, that was like a 10 pounder. That fish was bigger than he looked in the water. I thought the thing was like a four pounder. It came out of the water. It was like a ten pounder. Solid fish. It was a little, another one. Oh, no, that's still a good one. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Oh, that's a big boy. Don't let go. Jason, here. You got this? Wrong way, Jason. The other way. And he left Jason, the other way. Forward. No, he's still on there. Crank, 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 yeah, crank, yeah. crank. Oh, yeah, but he's still on there. I see him. Crank. How am I going to get down there? Oh, Watch out what all those cactuses. Oh, my God. Crank, Wait, buddy. I didn't know there's freaking cactuses. Yeah. Bro, what the heck? Careful you don't know really stab yourself. That's a good one. Crack. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Lift up, buddy, a little bit. I believe in you. Real, buddy. You need help? Get him! Real, 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 real. Never get slack. <laughs> what? It's like oh, it soap dude. Oh. Oh. Wait, job, he's buddy. probably still around there. He's gone. He gone. How you feeling? Good. Good. Got fly line burns. <laughs> real, buddy. Real up. Wait. Is that a good fight? You gave you a little run for the money right there at the end, huh? That was cool, <laughs> Oh, that's not that bad. You're catching a bunch of bass? Yeah. Oh, really? Another bass. The bass are stacked here right now. There, I'm back. Dude, you're just mudding up. I think that might be the same. Okay, back up. Don't get too close because that's uh there's a lot of gators in here. Come on, back up from the water. Get closer to me. Hey. You say boss. No, watch out with the spikes. You gotta grab him right here in the mouth. Grab him in the mouth. No, sometimes Caleb, I did it grab last him. Time. Grab him in the mouth. There you go. Hold him up to the camera. Oh god, he's slippery. Oh my god, he's biting me. He's trying to. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get a picture of my phone. My phone's in the way. No. Okay, go. Re put him in the water. Release him. Go. Release him. Release him. Come, come up, come up, come up. I'm so Oh my god, this is why sometimes I... I know how to drive down that side it's too. It's soft. Yeah, it's gonna be really soft. I wouldn't... I wouldn't try it. You're gonna lose a shoe. Oh. Swamp feet now. That's the bass section. You got another bass in there or no? Bro, I just lost them because I got hung on the tree. Ah. Oh, I just had a fish. Oh, <laughs> that was a tarpon. Probably still there. That was two little baby tiny tarpon try to eat it. God damn it! Don't god damn it, him. <laughs> You've created everything. Okay. You got. You're right.
Huh? What? The water level was tricky. In some areas the water was very, very low. Other areas it was the opposite. It was really high. So we had to bounce around and try to find the fish. I'm pumped to have the outboard in tip top shape and ready to hit the water. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.